Thank you very much, Mr. President. Members, this day is an historic day in the state of Texas. As we pass out of this chamber, our best work in terms of reforming the educational system in the state of Texas. And I want you to think about that. We come from different parts of this state, different ideas with different interests on different issues. Education has been one of those issues in terms of the reform of education that has kind of uh, escaped us over the last 10, 15 years. Larry, your name may go down with some guy by the name of Aiken. You're in Ubity. In terms of what you've done in terms of this particular bill. The work's not over with, as you well know. This just represents what we think ought to be done in the Senate, Mr. President. I want to thank Mr. President for appointing us to the Public School Finance Commission where we spent, Paul, over a year trying to come up with recommendations. We didn't all agree on the recommendations, but what we did agree on is that we had to be unanimous coming out of that commission with those recommendations. We don't all agree with everything in this bill. That's okay. But it represents our best effort in terms of coming together around certain principles that we need to see. I think that when we begin to look at the direction, Larry, that we've taken, recognizing that we have over 5 million kids within our public school system, and that over 60%, like you said from the very begin, beginning, are economically disadvantaged. Yes, members, in the state of Texas, we're talking about students in our public school finance system, our public school system, over 60% are economically disadvantaged. This work that we've done have focused with laser certainty, Senator Huffman, on that population to make certain that we provide them the resources, Senator Taylor, necessary in order to get the education that they deserve and to be the leaders of tomorrow. You've done a great job, Larry, under a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. And, you know, we want to make certain that we acknowledge that. You've had a lot of people around your staff and everyone else that has been a year, we've been a year kind of trying to come up with different concepts for you. But, members, this represents our best work. I've been in this body now for 25, uh, 25, how many years? We've been in it. Senator Nelson and I have been in this body for 26 years. And in terms of education, I've been involved in it for a long time. And I've never seen this type of collaboration, both D's and R's, in terms of getting a bill out. I know that we're getting close, not at the end yet, but I know that if we continue to stand together, as a legislative body, collaborate with our House, we will, in fact, get to the goal post, and we will score. Now, let me say something else that I don't really didn't want to have to say this, but this day should stand on its own. We shouldn't be considering a bill after this that deals with the Confederacy. But it is what it is. I think that this day Mr. President, members, should stand on its own as an historic day. So, Larry, I congratulate you. I'm disappointed that we've got to deal with the Confederacy, but if that's the case, then that's what we have to do.